But I want to make this something that's more of a normal thing for us. And I also want to normalize conscious conception. So first of all, we're going to start off with what is preconception care? What is conscious conception? So preconception care is exactly what it sounds like. You have prenatal care where they care for you and your baby. Prenatal means that you're pregnant and you're going to see your doctor regularly and all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. Preconception care, okay, preconception care is what we need to focus on in our community. Preconception care is literally the cure to everything, to, to birth defects, to uh, preeclampsia, to all of these different things. When we start looking at what it really means to take care of yourself before you conceive. So conception. Hey, Kiki. I know it's been a minute, girl. I'm on here. I'm on here now. I'm back. But uh, conception means when that sperm meets the egg. So... There's time, there's a time before that, right? Preconception care. Peace, Sister Ebony. Thanks for coming in. And during that time, it's really, really crucial because what we fail to realize is that as women, we're literally born with all of the eggs that we'll ever have. So the eggs that you are dealt with are the eggs that you are dealt with at birth. But then as time goes, uh, as time goes on, you know, the food that we eat, um, the things that we drink, smoking and things like that can really, really alter our eggs. So if we really, really want to talk about preconception care, this thing goes back generations. Because if you think about it, if I was born with all of the eggs I was ever going to have, that means when I was still in my mother's womb, Jelani was in there. She was in my mother's womb with me, literally. So how my mother took care of herself while she was pregnant could have possibly affected how my eggs were even formed. So when you think about the body, when you think about how the body is constantly, constantly fighting to rejuvenate itself, to revive itself and to keep itself alive, to keep itself going, then you know that you have a chance to really, really change some things within these next six months so for the next six months you're actually going to be going on this journey with me for my preconception care now this might sound kind of crazy but this is literally my preconception care i don't have a husband i ain't got no like might be my husband one day i ain't got none of that going on but the point of it is i know for a fact that i want to have babies in the future and I want to consciously conceive my next baby. So what I'm going to be doing is talking about how as women, we can get our bodies to that maximum potential and be able to give birth to God. So in one of Minister Louis Farrakhan, happy birth anniversary to him. In one of his lectures, how to give birth to a God, it might be part one. I don't know, but that's a long lecture. He talks about preconception care being the the answer to giving birth to a god hold on y'all he talks about how the woman's body from the moment the sperm meets the egg literally changes literally changes so what happens is and i don't want to get too technical but what happens is there's estrogen and then there's um what is the other word i'm looking for estrogen and progest progesterone so progesterone is what literally locks up the womb and and saves you know the baby the egg that could potentially be forming now you go through this cycle every single month as soon as you get on your period you go through this cycle every single month so little do you know every single month your body is begging for a baby whether you want to have a baby or not, for as long as you're having your period, your body is begging for a baby. So it does everything in its power to protect that baby. And sometimes that might even mean taking from you, the mom. So what preconception care does is it gives back to the mom. It fills you up so much to the point where your cup is now overflowing with different uh you know benefits health benefits 
that are only going to benefit your baby. That there is another baby I'm supposed to. Oh, KK, that is so cute. Well, girl, let's do it together. We can, we can have a little pregnancy pack going on. That is so cute. Like, what women be kind of like not really like noticing is that we get super emotional right before our period comes right that super emotional time is the rise in estrogen so you get a rise in estrogen right before and then uh right after you ovulate it's like okay like i don't even know why i was just crying over this uh piece of bread i dropped on the floor the other day it's literally that's why i always tell women your period is literally like the start of a pregnancy every single month every single month you're going through those hormonal changes so that is so so beautiful you probably was feeling like that girl <laughs> like around that time of the month um well i don't know because i'm just a weirdo and i just be wanting to give birth to babies like year round if i could i would so that's why i really want to get in the mind frame because they always say like in order to manifest you need to act as if right so i want to act as if i got a husband that's waiting on me and i need to get all of this right so preconception care includes everything your mental your spiritual your physical your emotional literally everything and what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna have six classes one every month so the first class is gonna be june 6th and the first class we're gonna be going over the mental part of preconception care so that's having good thoughts that's meditating that's uh being more positive because as soon as that that sperm hits that egg oh i would also too <laughs> but as soon as that sperm hits that egg like everything goes so fast from that literally like okay so kick i'm gonna ask you when did you pee on the stick and find out you were pregnant because for me, both times with Bear and Jelani, I think I was like five or six weeks. Five or six weeks pregnant already. So during this time, your first trimester is the most important trimester. It's the most important. All of them important, but I'm just saying as far as the baby's growth and development, that's so important to be on point in your first trimester. Because guess what you're developing? A heart. You're developing a spine. You're developing a brain that's major like all the other stuff comes later the fingers the toes the cute uh looks the dimples all that other stuff comes later but in the first trimester that's this baby's spine the baby's heart and the baby's brain i'm sorry those are the three most important things and by the time you're six weeks pregnant you're already halfway through the first trimester you already halfway through. So that's literally 12 weeks is the first trimester. You found out at six weeks. Now your baby's spine is already developed with whatever your body had available before you even knew about it. Preconception care is going to really put a stop to all of that. So I'm just really about to be preaching and teaching on how we need to normalize conscious conception planning out our births planning out our babies from from everything to how you want the birth to go to whether or not you want to breastfeed or not whether or not you want a cloth dab or not we're gonna plan all of that out in my class we're gonna do that as the very last class that's gonna be the sixth class because the most important thing really is this this is so important when it comes to giving birth and when it comes to getting your nutrition together because if you don't have good thoughts, that causes you to stress eat. That causes you to pick up something to eat when you don't want to think about what you're going through. So really, we want to start clearing up some of the mental things that we're going through, some of the past traumas, uh, the PTSD. We want to start clearing that up before we even conceive. So I'm on this journey. Uh, whoever wants to join, join me on this journey. The first, first step is for me to start meditating every day. Um, to start, like, I like when they say brainwashing. 
Because sometimes you be so caught up in the negative that your brain literally does need a, a bit of washing. <laughs> like I'm literally going to be brainwashing myself in a good way to prepare myself for what is to come. So that is why preconception care is so important. Um, you can literally put a stop to all things. And a lot of people think that prenatal pills um prenatal vitamins they make or break a pregnancy that's not what it is it's your preconception journey that makes or breaks your pregnancy was your blood pressure already high did you have a good diet before this are you in a stable uh living environment before you got pregnant it's literally all of those things that make or break your pregnancy because once you find out you're pregnant and you got to find a place to live uh yep watch that thing twice a day i know that's right i knew i heard that somewhere uh jake dr jake don't be playing no games <laughs> but once you realize that you're pregnant and now you have all these other things to think about like okay where am i gonna go to the doctor uh where am i gonna live at where am i gonna do this those things should already be decided before you even conceive because now you can really relax and focus all of your intention on what's next to come. So before you conceive, you can focus on being stable, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, all of that stuff. Once you're pregnant, then you focus on your birth journey. So, I don't know. KK, you wasn't here in the beginning, but it was literally a fire right next to me. And I hear a lot of screaming, but I'm pretty sure the fire's out. I don't know what's going on now. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry. That was a little rant. So, yeah, I'm going to be having six classes coming up that's all about preconception care. And what I'm actually going to be using to help you guys is a program that I got from Dr. Akili Muhammad. And um, he literally broke it down to me every single thing that I need to do within these next six months to get my body in the most perfect condition. We always talk about how... This is God's laboratory, you know, when we speak on the woman's womb, but we don't realize how true that really, really is. Like, that is just beyond the truth. So, 